Hi, I'm Robert Pell, and today we're gonna to be driving the Ford Mustang Mach-E. I'm very excited. This is an all new EV vehicle by Ford, and it, uh, it's gonna bring a nice little sporty punch. Let's check it out. Oh, oh I love the screen. This is awesome. So we're on right there. This is an all wheel drive premium. So this actually has the four batteries in it. Very silent, very quiet. Actually not a red car guy, but this, this car makes me think about it. This is a, a, it's a cool color. I like the black accents and the black wheels with it too. Open this up and see what it can do. I've heard these are pretty fun. I've had a couple people I know drive them. They're big fans, so let's see what it can do. Uh, it drives nice, it gets up and goes. Good torque. Love the steering wheel, has a sporty feel to it, a little thick. See, the screen is massive, so you get that uh, Tesla screen. Ford probably does it better. It looks like we're at 94% range, so uh, 191 miles. I believe these things get up to close to 260. This is crazy. This thing's like driving itself. I barely even touched the wheel. It just corrected itself. Um, so it's got like the, uh, the lane protection with the radar. So that's cool. Very cool, safe. You know, Safety is a big deal for people now, and uh, cars have never really been safer with the technology. Kind of brakes on its own. Um, barely even had to touch the brakes and we're stopping. It's, it's pretty cool, efficient. The regenerative braking. And I love the simplicity of it, really. I mean, you have a big screen and you notice that right away, um, but you have a nice little car. Oh, it told me I'm in a school zone. So the car's looking out for me, making sure I don't get any tickets. Definitely don't want one in a school zone. So that's a cool, cool feature. I still have to get used to how quiet these cars are. It's a little, uh, a little different. For me so i love you got the uh, wireless charger here so you can uh, keep your car or your phone there charging while you're driving don't look at it and it looks like it only fits the uh the the the, the, the normal size smaller iphone um it looks like the bigger one does not fit in that so that's something i would point out to people for me it works some people have the bigger screen i think we have different modes too i know we got heated seat heated steering wheel big things for me and it's cool and it shifts it like it shifts like you're you're in a manual and it's very sporty feel driving it and you can feel it kind of changing those gears it's it's even though there's no gears but it's yeah it's it's a bit different and it's definitely they if ford did a great job of really they really stepped up on the luxury sporty or end because I, I would classify this car as a luxury sport car and it and it really steps up to that level with uh with tesla obviously setting the bar for evs and, and it's quite a bit of more affordable too so it's right there um, in that price range. I believe this MSRP is 57,000. So great, great value for the car and what it is. It's definitely luxurious. It has a luxurious feel in it. I like the sport back look personally. I know some people want maybe a more sportier kind of feel, but the sport back for me is pretty cool. Definitely, I, I like throwing stuff in the back. It gives me some storage there if I have my golf bag or whatever. So that's that's a big deal for me. You get like kind of the TIE fighter look here with the uh, your little kind of cockpit image. The craziest thing when I look at these now, it's like they have so many radars around these cars. They have so many things telling you where you're at, whether it's the lanes, if you're backing out of spots. I was backing up earlier in this and I loved the, uh, I'll show when we park, but I loved how big and like clear the images i've had some cars that don't have like an hd camera and it makes a difference when you're when you're backing out of spots so i, I really love the backup camera that's great it drives nice when i uh, when i go around corners with it it's it's fun because you can you can go quite fast around a corner i mean do it safely but um you almost you know when you're if you there's so much torque coming out of these when you when you're pushing on the gas it almost hugs the road and wants to turn even tighter um, so you're seeing in these cars a lot of cases some really tight turn radius they can really maneuver around um, just really really all around fun cars to drive uh, high performance i know i'm supposed to probably turn in and go back but i'm having a fun time in this car so i think i'm just going to keep going and i want to open it up on a country road a little bit and see what we can do so i guess that's a good sign if i want to stay in the car <laughs> these are I, I guess i would be uh, be sad if i forgot to say these are available for sale you have to uh, you can reserve and order them now so we're taking orders on them um, this vehicle i'm driving is a, a demo car right now it's not available for sale yet um, it will be in the near future so keep your eyes out on it if you like this car just let us know and we can uh, we can talk to you about that oh this is fun 
Yeah, see, I mean, you you can get up in these things. Like, if you're going 50, 60, it doesn't feel like it. I mean, I, I'm, like, trying not to speed on some of these roads, but th this car is a little hard sometimes. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. And I know there's, um, I believe there's some different sports modes. Yes. So, oh, I'm in Unbridled right now. Maybe that's why I'm having so much fun. Um, you can go into, like, the Whisper mode, and it gives you... It gives you a little, uh, they see it keeping me safe. Um, when I at the park, we'll look at that. But yeah, they, they definitely give you different modes where you can be in a more relaxing, smooth ride, quiet, or you can, um, the unbridled, let the Mustang roll and let's see what we can do. Um, you know, always, always do that in a safe manner. I have to say that. Um, if you get to go to a racetrack, I'm sure that would be fun to, to open it up on a racetrack if you have that ability. Yeah, I could, I could easily see myself driving this. I, I, this would be a fun everyday driver. Um, you, you, you know, living in an area like this with snow and some of the weather elements, I, I think that's a non-factor in the car with the all-wheel drive um, and just the, the other factors with center of gravity and, and just the battery placements. I, I think you're fine on those in performance. I mean, we've all seen, um, you know, what other all-wheel drive EV cars can do. I haven't, I haven't had this much fun driving a car in a while. This is, it's sporty. Um, you know, you miss a little bit of like that V8 that you generally get in a Mustang, but I promise you for whatever the acoustics that you're lacking of feeling like a, a you know, feeling a meaty engine like that, um, the, the t instant torque and the performance from the batteries makes up for all of that. Cause I, I will admit earlier in this decade when, you know, EVs and Teslas are coming out, I, I was like, nah, I love my Hellcats. I love, I love the Mustangs, the Shelbys. Um, but as you get into some of these EVs and you actually experience what the performance is, it's it's fun. I mean, what what what's not to like as a car enthusiast about having a car that has more torque, that has more power, that gets you know better range and fuel economy and hits all those boxes in one? I mean, what what's there to complain about? Um, and you know, the exciting thing is to think a uh, think ahead with this. What's it going to do? when this gets into trucks and we've all heard about the new, you know, all electric Ford F-150 coming out. Think about what that car, that truck's gonna do with the power and torque in those and what it can do towing and stuff like that. So um, I guess it goes back to, I'd always encourage everyone to, to come and drive these cars, whether it's the Mach-E or any other EVs we offer, um, just come and drive them. You don't, you don't have to, you don't have to get numbers. You don't have to talk about any of that. All you got to do is tell us you want to come in and drive it. No strings attached and have fun um, and just experience what's out there. And, and you can plan for your own future and make educated decisions on your, your next vehicle purchase. But I would, I would recommend everyone to come, come try them out and drive them. It, it's, it's a low pressure situation. We, uh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna make you look at numbers or try to sell you the car. We just, we just want you to drive and see what it's about. And that's what these cars are here for right now is to, to educate people and, and, and let people know what they can do. But that's the best part about this job too, is getting to drive these cars and experiencing them. And man, it's just fun. I love this. There's nothing more fun than getting a new car. Everyone deserves to, to, to be happy and, and be excited when they get a new car. And that's what we strive for here. You know, and I drove the ID4, that only had two batteries. So that was rear wheel drive. And I, I had mentioned that I'm, I was excited to get mine into experience with the all wheel drive and see how that, that was different. And I will say this is, a, this is a bit quicker than when I drove that ID4 with the, the rear wheel drive. Um, now, obviously I know everyone's not like trying to get the fastest car, neither am I. I'm excited for the ID4, but it is, a uh, it's quite cool to uh, to feel a little bit of the difference in driving these cars. So you just know what you're getting when you when you get into them. And it's like I just went from a complete stop to 40 in a split second. And I was looking in the rear view and see the truck behind me. And I'm like, oh, that got away from me quick. So it's it'll surprise you a little bit because, like I said, it doesn't seem like you're going as fast as you are in these. I'm gonna get on the freeway now. And the handling's great. Love love how this turns. Oh. Nice leather. I always love Ford's leather too. They, I swear they make some of the best leather in their cars. And you get that new car smell. That's can't beat that. There's no better smell in the world. You know, it's the other the other cool thing with the Mach-E too is, you know, if I post a picture of this online, I get so many people that send me flames or like the eye emoji. I mean, so many people, this catches your eye. If you're going to drive this car, you're going to have people turning their heads. They're going to be looking at you and they're going to want to know what you're driving and uh, what, what more do you want in a car, right? I mean, cars are about our individual mobility and... 
mean, it's 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 who you are. It's it's it, each car has our own flavor and our own personality. And uh, with this car, you will turn heads. I promise you that. I've gotten such strong responses from people on this car. It's just a smooth stop too. Very smooth. Oh, I better get back to the store now because I know they're going to be wondering if I got pulled over or something. But I had to do an extra lap because this is that fun. Getting back to awesome Ford. Come and see us. You can, uh, you can drive this very same car and experience it yourself. We'll have it sanitized and cleaned for you and ready to go. Um, just contact us or come in and say hi and tell us you want to drive it. So let's check out what we got. I'm gonna turn that in the park. So you got the different driving features, engage, which is a balanced drive, fun, engaging. So that's like your normal drive. Your whisper is gonna be calm, quiet, um, a little smoother. And then the unbridled, which is I was in, was an exhilarating drive, which I agree with. And the machine and the road align is one, which I did get that feel driving. Like I said, if you start swerving in one of those lanes, it's going to pull you back. I mean, the car kind of steered itself in a lot of instances, which is, is very cool. You got your backup camera, like I was saying. You got the uh, the toll bir the big bird's eye view, which you can, you can play around through sensors there. Camera's very nice, very clear. The parking features are cool. You got the active park assist. I haven't tried that yet. I probably need a little training on it, but um, it's uh, it's a very cool tool to see. I've seen it in um, a demo, and it's it's pretty crazy to think we can just take our hands off the wheels and set and have a car park itself. So um, our sales consultants will know more about that. I should find out more myself because I am interested in that feature. Oh, so you just got access, I think, to your charging stuff. Take traction control off if you want. Oh, and you got a valet mode. Okay, that's cool. So that's if you click on the car feature. You go back, you got the big nav screen, which is nice. You can flip through your radio, have your paired phone. You do have the Apple CarPlay, which is kind of a must have in most of my cars. I, I just, I love that feature. Um, makes everything just easier than the traditional Bluetooth route. So I have an Apple CarPlay and it mirrored your screen. is It's really convenient since I guess we're all addicted to our smartphones now. Uh, it does have Android Auto too, if you have an Android. So you can get a good diagnosis of your vehicle. Um, all these cars come connected too, so you can connect with your preferred dealer um, using Ford Pass Rewards, which is an awesome program. And uh, I mean, shoot, I've had employees that use their Ford Pass Rewards and they get a uh, they get an oil change, get their maintenance done, and uh, they're they're racking up points when they do that. They can go towards future services or even towards a future car purchase or accessories. So I should know more about those details. But if you want more specifics on the Ford Pass Reward system that comes with these vehicles, contact us at Awesome Ford and any of our sales consultants um, will be able or service consultants can, will be able to help you with those questions and, and make sure you understand um, what's available it's a pretty cool car I mean I love the dial here um, it's the cool thing is it's such a techie futuristic car but like these dials still have like the grooves in them and everything it still has like a traditional almost a heritage approach to the old mustangs and uh, i think that's a cool touch very cool i get kind of nerdy about those things um you got a nice big center console it's like plenty of storage looks like oh you can hide it there as well if you want to keep the clean look like i said you got wireless charger there you got usb uh, usb cords there um and also it looks like you have like an android uh, port as well i don't have one of those see the volumes speakers are good i like it you got your heated seats there you turn up with your finger touch screen same with the heated steering wheel that's on now control your air here you do have the dual climate which is a big deal i know um, if any of y'all are like me i know that you're riding in the car um nothing's more frustrating than one person thinks it's hot and one person thinks it's cold so the dual climate's a big feature that's awesome and yeah this is the ford mustang mach e great review for me i love it i love it very fun car and i'd recommend everyone to come check it out it's, it'll be worth it you'll, you'll enjoy it so we'll see you next time we'll drive something else but uh i appreciate everyone and thank you